I got my own money, I got my own motion, I have my own goals, my own ambitions, my own dreams. I know what I want out of my life. So when it comes down to the dating scene now, it's kind of like, I'm not dating because I, I just want to make more money. I'm dating because I'm looking for a partner. Who y'all want? Flames. Bitch, you ain't. Flames. Oh my God, it's <laughs> Bitch, I feel like. Flames. You don't live a life. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Flex Nine back with another video. So, as you can read by the title, this is kind of like something different, something new. So basically, you're gonna get ready with me to go on a date. Um, this guy, I met him a few days ago um, at the mall. He pulled over. I was like, hmm, it's kind of cute. Do right here, think about like that, whatever. And I'm single as, I'm like as single as it gets. Like, it's so bad for me. I'm holding, no ocean, no. Nothing, just nothing, no whole shit. So yeah, I'm trying to get my whole shit back because baby, I'm too young to turn to not be outside with some fine on my arm. You feel what I'm saying? Or not be the fine on somebody else's arm. However you want to spin it, baby. I just need to get back in that field. I fear I haven't not necessarily been in the field. I just haven't been liking the field <laughs> that I've been in. So I think I want to change the pastures. Maybe see something screener. I'm gonna do like a really, really, really light beat. It's gonna be like my um everyday kind of go-to beat. I have on like, look at my lashes. I am just a girl. I got like some strips, I'm gonna have to put these on. Don't you just love it when you find stuff? You just have stuff on here. I've been hanging my lashes up for how long and I still got strips on here. I'm excited. So yeah, I'm about to get, uh, I'm about to do my little light bead, little light, light eyebrow, little light everything, really. So, I wish I could see. I'm gonna get my, my um, chair down. I'll be sitting down when I do my makeup. Do not judge me. I do not ask to be judged. Only God can do that. So, it's, um, it's 9.25. It's 9.25. And honestly, <laughs> Supposed to be there at 10. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna push it. I'm gonna tell him now. Well, I'm one of the people that I'll tell you if I'm gonna be late so you know that I'm gonna be late. Let me just tell him running late. Cause I don't want people to like, I don't like have people waiting. Or I don't like have people waiting or just sitting there looking slow or thinking that I'm irresponsible just because I'm a little late. Yeah, I'm a little late, but I told you. So, yeah. So then, yeah, that bitch. So I'm gonna do my little light, like just a little under eye concealer, nothing major. I ran out of my um, good concealer on my color, so I have to use the other one. I'm gonna go to the um, Sephora tomorrow. That's enough. I don't wanna look ashy. Yeah, that's basically all I do when I'm not when I'm doing like a no makeup makeup look with the concealer. That's literally all I do. I am about to my eyebrows though because that's an essential part so yeah he's talking about some how you running late and it's 9 30. he's like it's not even 9 30 talking about you running late and my baby trust me i will be <laughs> trust me honey this ain't my first rodeo this ain't my first time being me i will be late i will guaranteed for sure for sure trust and believe it I cannot find my thingamajig, or er, there it is. Sometimes you gotta just say it all out. You find your stuff. I'll just leave that on there and let that sit. You already know. This is gonna be quick. Y'all gonna see. I was just, okay, I was talking to y'all earlier or in another video when I was, and I was saying how, I was saying how this dude, well, I didn't say what I was gonna talk about, but I did say I wanna talk about something, right? So, like, have you guys ever been in a situation or, like, a situation ship, you'll say? Because it's kind of semi-exclusive, but not really, and it's not going anywhere. Like, it's just excuses after excuses as to why you don't get what you want. Like, and it don't even be like you want something major. You might just want, like, a little time. Attention, affection, consistency. But it's like, I'm busy. I'm busy, I'm working, I can't. Right? And then you cut them off, clearly, because you're not no peon. I hope you're not no peon. But you cut them off because you're not no peon, 
And then basically they, you, first of all, you block them because I'm a blocker. I like to block. Don't ever hit me up again in your life. I am a blocker. So you block them because you're a blocker. And then they call you no caller ID. Okay, cool. So now you're like, you fall, you fall for it because you're just a girl at the end of the day. So you fall for it and he basically repeats the same cycle. He's like, I'm trying. And then repeats the same cycle again. So then you cut him off again because you actually want to fuck with this person. You like this person. You would like for it to work. So like when there's attempts made, then you believe them. And then when the attempts stop, then it's just like, dang, fuck for it again, dummy idiot. And you're like, dang, I fell for it again. I'm an idiot. I don't know. Like, whatever, whatever. And then finally, you muster up the guts to go ahead and be like, you know what? This is some whole BS. Like, the whole situation is just some BS. Like, there is no man on this God's green earth that busy. There's people in the army that are at war and they still make time to call their wives. Am I right? Like, so, yeah, and they make time every day. Like, I literally was watching Undercover Billionaire with Grant Cardone, and he called his wife every day. He's literally making a million dollar empire in 90 days and still has the time <laughs> to call his wife. So, don't fucking play with me. But don't think it's all like just green and slow. One of the things that keep you there is the fact that when you are with this person, it's a blast. Like, you're having a time. Like, never a bad time in person. Never a bad time. Never a bad vibe. Never any of that. Really good vibes in person. Really fun. Really, like, girly. Like, you feel really light. Like, you know, you feel like, okay. I can relax. I can literally follow him and I'll be fine. I can close my eyes and hold his hand and he, I'll get there. But that's what I want with somebody that I that values and cherishes me as well. Because my thing is... If you don't like me or don't want to mess with me or something like that, that's fine. Like, I'm an adult. But the only problem with that is, do not play. Like, don't play on people's time. I feel like that's so weird. Like, if you know that, you know, like, it's not getting anywhere. Stop talking to me. Like, one thing about men, they always want to keep you just in case. See, I'm not a person that you can keep just in case. And on top of that, not only am I not a person that you can keep just in case, I ain't never mess with somebody twice. So you cannot double back. I don't know why. I'm not nostalgic. I don't miss my exes. I don't want to get back with them. I've never done it. As long as I've been alive, I'm 24. I have never dated somebody more than once. Like, talk to them, entertain them, anything of that nature. Like, after I don't like you, like, you literally just disgust them because I give everybody a real genuine chance and I show my genuine self and I am who I am. Like, I literally, I come fully genuine. I come like a real person. I come with open, with an open mind. And like ready to explore whatever it is that that is or it is or whatever. And then when you don't reciprocate that or you kind of play with my time or like show me or try to, you know, try to diminish my value or something like that, that I just cannot get behind. I don't see why I should try again. And I don't care how much personal growth you have done or who you are today or any of that. I'm just not going to try again. And like a lot of times people try to come back because I guess they go into the streets and they see that I am a one-on-one -on -one ass person and you miss me. Everybody tries to come back. I've never had a guy just not try or not be like, dang, I missed you, dang, you never argued. Like, I don't argue, baby. Like, even with girls, like, I can argue with girls because like, they be fun sometimes. But with a guy, I'm not gonna argue. I will literally, like, lead a conversation alone. Like, if we just disagree, then that's fine. We can just disagree. Like, I'm grown. I could take that. Like, you know, if we disagree, we just disagree, that's fine. But, like, I'm not gonna keep messing with the same person like i'm not the type of person that's like oh yeah i miss him oh yeah i need that again no i don't like no i don't been there done that had that move on seven billion going on eight billion people in the on the earth and i'm gonna stress over you never never and i know my value too much i know what i'm worth i know what i can bring to the table i don't know if you guys seen that rihanna um video where she was like i want a man that loves me cherishes me values me but they have to know my value in order to value me um they have to know my worth and i can only they can only know my worth if i know my worth mm -hmm. i want them to respect me but i want fun times i want fun fun times i, I want to laugh 
I want less more than anything. And y'all see, that was before she was a billionaire, so she knew that she was capable of great, great, great things, and she wanted somebody who saw that in her as well. You know, that's kind of what I want. I don't want nobody that just doesn't see my own potential, my value, and anything. Like I really want somebody who just sees me for me, waters me, grows me, and I do the same. Because I really just don't have time for the buffoonery. Maybe a lot of buffoons. Maybe a lot of people trying to hold on. Like I am not one of your hoes, baby. You cannot hold on to me. You you get a real shot at messing with me, and then it's over with. And then you're sour faced and irritated because I'm blocking you and I'm not answering your calls. And that's just what it is. This is how I always been though. I don't double dip. Like, yo, till you burned it out, you up what you cooked. And it always sucks. If you hurt my feelings, but what hurts my feelings worse is me acting like I don't know what I'm worth or I don't know my value. That hurts me worse. Because it's like I'm consistently on an emotional roller coaster with a man who's trying to make it seem or trying to make my worth seem less than just because he needs an ego boost and he needs to feel like he's him and he needs to feel like. Yeah, I get bitches, or yeah, I got motion, yeah, I got whatever the fuck, like, or he wants somebody who actually likes them like, in their face. See, I'm the type of person that will make you feel good about yourself. If I date you, I will make you feel good. I will talk up to you. I will, you know, I will stroke your ego. I do all those types of things. So, like, I don't want no guy to feel special because I'm telling him he's fine, baby. I, t I tell all my men they're fine. So, don't think he's special. You know, I'll tell a random guy he's fine if I, if I think he's fine. So, yeah. Don't think he's finer than me, though. Cause I'm fine. You feel me? I'm fine. So baby, don't think that just cause I say you fine, all of a sudden I become less fine. Girl, I get men. I pull. I can look like nothing and pull. So what you talking about? You know. Oh, I have to get that off my chest. I have not vented about that. And I really need it so. You know how delusional you have to be to calm these out and try to make them look like enough? Make it enough. Yeah, honey, gonna have to put strips on. One thing I'm also tired of, look at that. Sometimes you just don't need nothing but a little lip liner. Her lips are pretty color. But one thing I'm also tired of is dealing with signs that I'm not compatible with. Like, I'm a Virgo, so I know like my man is like a, I wanna say a Capricorn, I want a Capricorn. I want a Capricorn or I want a Scorpio. Nothing more, nothing less. I'll deal with a Taurus, but Taurus is kind of like, I don't know. I don't know. They be always in the bed. Y'all know. I'm gonna be acting show, you know. Well, they be always in the bed, and I really want an adventurous life. A Scorpio can give me that because they're a water sign. Pisces are cool too. I like Pisces. And I also like, um, I also like Cancers. They're just a little sensitive. Like, they're a little more sensitive. Like, all the water signs are sensitive. Like, no matter how much Scorpio tries to mask it, you're sensitive too. But, they're just, they're just more daredevils. Like, more daredevil sign is a Scorpio. The crash out sign is a Pisces. And the emotional overbearing sign is a Cancer to me. This is my makeup. This is what I be saying when I don't need to do much. This is a really cute look, isn't it? Real soft, real soft girl. Real timid. But yeah. See, it's already 940. I told him. I live 20 minutes. I'm gonna need another at least another 10. So I'm going to cheetah, if you were wondering. But yeah, I'm going to Cheetah. I love Cheetah. I'm going to let me record. Probably not. I just want to do a live record. Y'all not seeing them though. It's just today. Like, you don't even get serious. This is about me still. Like, it's see me. Still about me. On this side, the same thing. Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. I need it more wet. Hey, I'm really going on this date. Knowing I don't even want a boyfriend right now. I really want to like it on my career. Like my blog, my future, my bundles. Like, I just really want to like it on my personal development. At least to be at another tier. I feel like, like... 
I don't like my man super tall. I might man be like 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, I don't know why. I just like him like that. That's just what he is. Like, cause I don't like all that. Oh, you tall. Oh, you tall as hell. I don't like all that tall as hell shit. Like, I know I'm tall. I mean, like, it's my life. I've been living it. So when you're telling me I'm tall, it kind of like, you know, I used to tall women. Cause like, I like a man that like, that prefers a tall woman. Cause that, yeah, like, like, I don't like when you make me your type. Just because I'm cute. And like, I'm not what you used to though. Like you like light skinned women. You like light skinned short thick women. Then why are you coming after me? You know what I'm saying? Stick to your status quo. Do not make me a social experiment. I like a man that likes tall brown skinned thick bitches. Like you know what I'm trying to say? Like I, when they see me they're like ooh. You're perfect. Ooh. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm perfect. I don't want to. Because I have a type. You know? But my type isn't like firm. But a lot of guys types are firm. My type. My only like. My only thing is like I like them tall. That's just the thing. I like them tall, baby. I do. And and I like them dark too. Tall and dark. I'm a basic bitch. So when it comes to my man, he gotta like a brown. I gotta clean that up. My face is looking crazy. Oh my god, like them brown. Do not make me. Do not make me your your experiment. Do not just fuck with me because I look good like okay I look good but I'm not your type I look good generally that's the thing like okay I look good but it does not mean I am your type of look good like you might just be like damn she's an exception do not make me a if I'm an exception find your type like I don't girl chill cause the old me not the me now is it the me now I don't know but the me, it could be my, uh, if you had money and you was some young shit, like 30 and young, 30, 31, 32, I'll take, and younger, then you my type. You could be short, you could be big, you could be white. I could put my pinkies up and be white with it, you know? Nah. But now I'm like, no, baby, I need something that's cute. I got my own money. I got my own motion. I have my own goals, my own ambitions, my own dreams. I know what I want out of my life. So when it comes down to the dating scene now, it's kind of like I'm not dating because I, I just want to make more money. I'm dating because I'm looking for a partner. But like a partner that has a similar mindset that's not going to waste my time or make me feel like I'm less than or not worth something or going to belittle me just because I want love. Like, I want a real equal partnership. And if I can't get that, I really don't want it at all. I would be the fine single auntie that don't never have no man. But knock on wood. Somebody want to do that. I got to put on a lash. I look crazy. I can't just walk around like this. So, yeah. I'm going to go try to find an outfit. Chat later. OMG, don't I look so good? I just wanted my titties to city today. I don't know why I want to do this. We giving wrong ideas off day one. I wanted my titties to titty today though. I got these little, cute little, you know. I only got on some black jeans. I'm sure I'm all out there in a minute. And I got this from Shop Akira. Super cute little bracelet. And it has pink, so it matches my nails. And I always have pink in my nails somehow. Like front tips or something. Or just white, and that also works. It does. And I put it on. Still kind of loose, but better. I'm going to put on some rings. My other arm. I'm going to get them. Super cute. I kind of wish, like, I don't know if I like this. I don't hate it. I just don't know if I like it. These are some of my rings. Yeah, Forever 21. No little cute things. Little details. I never have none. Period. This is what I'm wearing. I have on my boots because it's a little chilly outside. I look super gorgeous. Y'all know I'm still wearing because the yeah, album's just hot. So, give me more XD but make it hot. This is what I'm wearing. I really don't know how I feel about it. My titties are just up here. Should I put on like a t-shirt? This is a little too hot. I don't have time though. I don't really like the bottom part. 
See, this is cute. Now, this I feel better in. I feel like I look too emo before. No, I look grown women. Little fatty. See, yeah. shape. We giving them shape. We giving them eight. We giving them everything that we need to give them. Lay the lace down. All right, we going in. So yeah, I am absolutely satisfied with my outfit. I am heading out looking cute. I'm so glad I changed. I just wasn't feeling like that girl. Like, I just wasn't. Like jeans and stuff. Don't that feel like tight and well uptight? Jeans felt stiff and uptight. And mm hmm. This just didn't represent what I was going for today. I cannot for the life of me find my keys. No. Don't piss me off today. Now, so I'm here. I don't know if I can record in here. I'm here. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, I'm gonna go inside then. Okay. Uh, uh, see that's what it's like. So as I said in the letter, I am back home. It was cute. It was cute. Um, you know, I talk a lot because that's why I blog so I can talk. And nobody's around to still get it off. So it was cute. Um, it felt like a vibe. Cheetah was good. I took videos on my phone. Man, I took videos on my phone. I like my food and stuff and the ambiance and stuff because I couldn't really record. It's not a type of place where you can record or do any of those type of things. I had a fun day. I mean, it was a fun day. You know? You know what I'm saying? Like, it was fun. I have to see more. But... I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course I feel good. Of course I look good. Of course I am good. And I hope you guys are too. All true them. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one.